although virus can take down a whole civilization to its knees, like what's happening with the COVID-19 pandemic now, the survival of viruses is not that easy. Wait, what? They are dependent on a host for them to survive. A host that they sometimes kill, and when their host is dead, they die too. On the other side, if the host don't die, it means the host is healthy, which also means the immune system of that host would kill them. Well, there are viruses that continue to reproduce in the body despite the defense mechanism of the host body, just like the hepatitis virus. But many viruses are easily killed by the immune system. Luckily for the virus, but not so much for us, there are too many living things on Earth where they can go around undetected because of their small size. Plus, they can mutate to flourish on different types of cells. Just like the 1918 Spanish flu, which scientists suspect could be a combination of human and bird flu viruses. The bird flu cannot infect humans, and the human flu cannot infect the birds. But somehow, both human and bird flu viruses ended up on the same pig whose cells catered for both viruses and then mutated to form a brand new virus which is now known as N1H1. Aside from the rapid reproduction mentioned earlier, bacteria are also persistent. Some can form endospores which are extremely resistant to hostile conditions such as heat, radiation, and disinfectants. This makes them have almost superman-like powers. Bacteria's persistence is not always a bad thing, since around 70% of bacteria are friendly. They usually help digest your food, destroy disease-causing cells, give the body needed vitamins, and even produce your favorite yogurt. But since there are too many bacteria on Earth, and with their microscopic size, scientists estimate that only around 1-10% to of all bacteria in the world have been discovered. We cannot say the same thing for the viruses though. Because of how the virus works, they are mainly considered as pathogens or something that can cause a disease. Although some viruses like phages can help humans by infecting some bacteria that are harmful to the humans. But since they are infecting a bacteria, they are still technically a pathogen for those bacteria. Sorry Mr. Virus. Just like what President Duterte said in the first part of the series. But the antibiotic cannot harm the virus. Antibiotic kills bacteria but not the viruses. Antibiotics are antibacterial drugs that either kill or slow down the growth of bacteria. Although there are some antiviral drugs out there, it still goes down to our immune system to fight the virus. Even the very effective vaccines just basically boost the immune system to fight the virus. Vaccines are either dead or weak or disabled viruses that are injected to our body, which our immune system detects and then fights them to suppress hijacking our cells. Since the viruses are dead or weak, it's a sure win for the immune system. Once the immune system detects them, they are recorded to our internal virus definition files so that in the future, when the same virus enters our body, the immune system will automatically attack them and will not have a chance to duplicate further. I know you've heard this many times before, but they are the truly effective way to win against pathogenic viruses and bacteria. Be clean! Be healthy and be smart. And please, please, please wear your mask properly. Please. And that's it for this video. Wait, 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 wait. Did we miss something? Oh, yes. The germs. Not Kuya germs. As mentioned in the beginning, in the world of biology, a germ is most commonly known as a pathogen. So that means by discussing viruses and bacteria, 
we've already been discussing germs as well. This concludes our series for germs versus bacteria versus virus. I hope you learned something from this series. And if you did, I'd appreciate it if you can return the favor and subscribe to the channel and share my videos so I can create more informative videos like this. Nelasuj for watching. Novaer.